Here we'll learn how to test the internal circuit of used ASIC chips. Before starting, we need to ensure that the chips are not hot. We start by turning the chips face up and cleaning the pads with isopropyl alcohol. Then we inspect the contact pads on every chip and save the ones that need to be reballed. Check out the last step of our video on how to pre-tin chips, link in description. Then we need to set our power supply to 1.36 volts and 10 amps. We're going to read the current drop on the power supply's display. To do so, we can use the alligator clips that comes with the unit. You can also plug the probes of your multimeter directly on your PSU. A third option would be to use a multimeter's and the power supply's displays by clamping the alligator clips onto the probes. Don't let the probes touch each other, shorted chips can arc and burn. The largest contact pad of the ASIC chip is the ground. And the second largest is the positive pad. We put the probes on the respective pads and read the current drop out. A normal ASIC chip behavior would show the current drop below 2 amps and rise slowly. A broken chip could have an internal short circuit that would lower the resistance. The lower resistance would result in a current drop above 2 amps. If the current drops below 2 amps but doesn't rise slowly this could also indicate damage. To be precise, after the drop, the current should rise by about 50 mA per second. Consider subscribing for more ASIC repair tutorials.